is on a is on a, a rocket. The other one is on Earth. They will age at different points. The stretching of the universe. If we're calculating from there, it was a pulse every second, right? In other words, let's go back to what we mentioned when we started with the star, right? We see a star in the sky. That star is probably 100 million years old, right? It's sending out. It was sending out a pulse of light every millisecond, right? But we're not seeing. It left it every second it was coming out. But we're seeing it stretched out over time until it gets to us in this expanding universe. So therefore, if we're measuring those pulses, time becomes that much longer. Those are three approaches that we have. I'll just share with you a... a a, a, a little joke, okay? <laughs> so, um, a person is in a desperate financial situation and he calls out to God and he says, God, it says you have all the silver, all the gold. For you, all the gold is like, is like nothing, right? Can you please, please, please Send me, send me, send me some kesef, send me some zahav, right? God says, sure, in a minute. Amen. <laughs> right? But another Pasuk says that one day of God is like a thousand years of ours, right? So it all depends where we're placing the clock, Everything is what relative. it comes down to. Yes. Everything is relative. Yes, yes Jen. So, some questions are still back. Does elegantly and com completely and pretty consistently addresses the universe and planetary and solar bodies 